Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Pastor Jonathan Bernardo from Green Hills Christian Fellowship Peel. Uh, today, it is uh, my honor to conduct our first virtual baptism at the home of Brother Nap Albarillo. You know, times have truly changed and we need to change along with it. The importance of baptism and how it is conducted doesn't change just because we are doing it differently, as you will see. We will be baptizing Arnold and Ethel Albarillo the brother and sister-in-law of our own Nap Albarillo. We will also hear personally from them on how they came to this point in their lives as the Lord spoke to them through his word. But before we do that, let me open us in prayer and share a few words about why we observe baptism as an important step of faith for those who come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Let us pray. Father, you desire that everyone comes to know your son, Jesus Christ, as their Lord and Savior. You also delight that they demonstrate such faith in obedience to your word. The first public step of faith is through baptism. May this observance of what you've instructed to us be glorifying and honoring to you as we show ourselves obedient to your every teaching. Bless our time together and keep us safe as we do this for your name's sake. Amen. You know, Jesus Amen. himself was baptized, as we read from the Bible, just before he started his earthly ministry. In fact, it was John who was his cousin by his earthly family who baptized him. John even hesitated when Christ asked John to baptize him. In, rep in response to John, Jesus said, It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. Yes, God did ask that we be baptized after we have professed our faith in Jesus Christ. But baptism doesn't save us from our sins, but it definitely shows that we are willing to obey the Lord. Baptism is symbolic, but it is an important one that we cannot ignore nor neglect. Every child of God who comes to know Jesus must follow him as he she would in any other commandments that God gives in his word. Being baptized is also a significant way for us to tell others what Jesus has done for us and how he too can save those who are listening and watching this observance. You will also see how we baptize, as shown in the Bible, by fully immersing the person under the water. Again, to symbolize how the person being baptized shows his or her submission to what baptism represents. In Romans chapter 6, verse 3 to 4, it says, Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in his death? For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. In baptism, we acknowledge that we have, signif that we have signified dying to our sins, just as Jesus died on the cross for ours. In baptism, we admit that as a result, we are symbolically buried, dying to our old self. In baptism, we affirm that we also are symbolically joined with Christ in his resurrection, becoming new creatures in him through faith. We will now hear personal statements, each from Arnold and Ethel, about their experience and encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. We will hear first from Arnold, who is the husband of Ethel. Arnold, would you please uh, share your testimony? Okay, Pastor. I was a pretty typical uh, Roman Catholic who practiced my religion by just attending Sunday Mass. Though I believe in Jesus, I would say that I don't know him much as I do not put into practice his teachings. I even attended Christian fellowship in the early 1980s to search for the truth about Jesus and his salvation, but it did not work out for me. In, 2000, in August 2012, we were blessed to migrate here in Canada. And Jesus was once again introduced to us by my brother Nap through GCF church service. At this point in time, I acknowledge that Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. However, as the head of the family, I was not able to commit my family to continue the church service at GCF. In 2015, our neighbor who is a Christian pastor was able to open my heart and turn back to Jesus. In April 2020, after the death of my mother, 
I decided to go back to GCF and started to attend their virtual church service. I believe that only Jesus is the, the way to our God, the Father, and to our salvation. I never experienced the joy that Jesus brings to my life. He has transformed me into a new person for which I don't want anymore to go back to my old sinful way of life. It is clustered clear to me now that God always wanted to connect to me and he made it possible for me to be his follower. God indeed revealed to me in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, wherefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things pass away. Behold, they are become new. Praise God. On October 10, 2020, I have received Jesus and accepted him as my savior and only God and repented for all my sins. And I always pray that I will lean with Jesus abide to his commandments and walk with him to all the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Brother Arnold. And now, uh, if Ethel can take your place so that uh, we can hear from Ethel, who is the wife, a dearly wife of uh, Brother Arnold. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Ethel. I am the wife of Arnold. And then um, here's my testimony. Um, I am a Roman Catholic, but not a religious person. I seldom attended Sunday Mass. I have a little faith when it comes to fellowship with God. Sometime in 2012, we made few visits in the church service of GCF. As per invitation of my uh, brother-in-law, Nap Albarillo, I believe that Jesus is our Savior, but I did not know him well. Nevertheless, I would always join my husband whenever he asked me to attend any Christian fellowship. By divine intervention, I started to draw my attention in Jesus, especially when I see my husband attending virtual search, uh, church service of GCF and also watching YouTube channel about Christianity and Christian fellowship. I suddenly realized that I was already joining him in praising God. On October 31st, 2020, I received and accepted Jesus as my personal savior and confessed to all the sins I have committed. I feel the happiness in my heart and God's unconditional love after I surrender my life with Jesus. God revealed to me in his scripture in Hebrews um, chapter 11, verse six, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Amen. That's wonderful, Arnold and Ethel. We thank God for writing those words in your heart and sharing it with us on uh, this blessed day of your baptism. So now we will uh, proceed to our actual baptism. So may I ask Arnold and Ethel, to go with uh, Brother Knapp to our baptismal area, which is called their washroom upstairs. So uh, let's take the time to do that as we get ready. So folks, uh, for those of you who are watching this right now, uh, we are just uh, preparing ourselves preparing. to conduct the uh, actual baptism. So Arnold will be the first one to be baptized. I will be, as I have been officiating virtually, uh, remotely, because of uh, the, the restrictions that are in place. Brother Knapp will be helping me to actually conduct this baptism. As I said, we will be baptizing Arnold first. Okay, They're just uh, getting ready now to do this. We have to make adjustments uh, because of uh, what's happening today. So this is no less significant than uh, how we do it in normal times. The important thing is as a church, we continue to commit ourselves to following this uh, 
observance of baptism. So Arnold, whenever you're ready, please uh, proceed to... Okay, Arnold is a tall guy, so we have to prepare ourselves uh, well. So, Nap, let me know whenever you're ready. Just give me the thumbs up. Arnold, have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? I do. Do you promise to pledge your life to him, learning from him, living for him? and turning away from your sins as you let him have full authority over your life. Yes, I do. It is now my privilege to have you baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, we will now be, uh, praise God for you, Arnold. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. We will now be baptizing Ethel. So, Ethel, whenever you're ready, please uh, proceed to the bathtub. I'm going to be asking you the same questions that I asked your husband, Arnold. Ethel, have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to pledge your life to him, learning from him, living for him, and turning away from your sins as you let him have full authority over your life? Yes, I do. It is now my privilege to have you baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Maybe, maybe Arnold, if, if it's not too much, uh, you can stand with Ethel. Arnold. Arnold. There. Okay. If you're not too cold yet, <laughs> we will close in uh, Arnold. prayers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let us... Uh, just want to thank uh, Brother Nap and Sister May and Nico for helping us to do this uh, ceremony inside your home, being in a uh, social circle that belongs to you and Arnold and Ethel and their family. So we are able to safely do this. Okay. Yes. So let us uh, close in prayer. Father, this is a beautiful day. We know that you rejoice when people come to know you, seek you, and surrender their lives to you. We rejoice with you as your people when this happens. We pray that Arnold and Ethel will continue to walk in this new life they have found with Christ. May they find comfort in the fellowship of their fellow brothers and sisters in this church or any other church that they choose to worship. May they find counsel in your word confidence in your promises that you will never leave them nor forsake them and courage to tell others what you have done and continue to do in their lives. We pray for the rest of their family that all of them will come to unity in faith in Christ Jesus our Lord.
to whom we pray all these things. Amen. 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 God bless you both and uh, yeah. congratulations. And when, uh, we, co we will continue to pray for you and we hope that you will join us as uh, new members of this church in our ministries, in Bible studies, in prayer, and all the other things that the children of God are um, delight in as we connect with one another in praising the Lord together. God bless you, and again, good afternoon. Thank, Thank you, Pastor. Pastor. Thank, Thank you. God bless. God bless.